Hi there. I'm here today standing in what would have been the dining hall of the medieval Benedictine Abbey of Curus in Fife. And uh, you can see where I am, and you can see, but just down below me is the River Forth, just there, and Curus Village standing below me. But this would have been where the monastery would have been situated, and the Abbey Church stands just above it. But the story of the Abbey itself goes back much further than the medieval period, back to the time of the first missionaries here in this part of Scotland, and particularly to two saints who are connected with this place, uh, Saint Serf and Saint Mongo, or Kentigan. Serf is also called Saint Servanus. Now, Saint Serf is very difficult to pinpoint date-wise, but the high probability is that he lived in the 500s, the early 500s, mid 500s AD, because he's linked to the training of St. Mungo or St. Kentigan, who was here with him. Um, and St. Serf would have traveled all up and down this place. There are many places that are connected with him, including a tower and a, what's called a dicet at near Kokodi uh, in Fife, further along the coast. But this was where he founded his abbey. And also this is where uh, St. Mungo, or Kentigan, was born, and just down the hill by the coast, uh, to his mother, Thenu, who was <clears throat> a, a British princess who had been uh, thrown out by her father because she had been found to be pregnant by an enemy prince. And so he was born here and was raised here by Serf. And in fact, it was Serf who gave him his name, Mungu, Mungo, my my dear, my dear puppy, really, it means. And this was a place where there were several things that happened connected with the life of St. Mungo. The famous story of how um, his friends put out a fire that was kept in that he was supposed to be guarding, but he actually put in a green piece of wood, and the green piece of wood came to fire, caught fire again, so that the um, he, he, he didn't get into trouble. And then also the the robin that he said to raise to life, that was a favourite robin uh, of St. Serf, that is, the, the, the people who were jealous of him, the boys who were jealous of him, killed. But actually, the story goes, the legend goes, that uh, St. Mungo then raised him, to raised the robin to life again and gave him back to St. Serf. Interestingly, those two um, stories are linked to the coat of arms of the city of Glasgow, because in the city of Glasgow there's a tree, which is the wood that, that burned, the fresh wood that burned, and there's also a bird. Uh, and those, as I say, in the, the, the coat of arms of Glasgow, because Glasgow was founded by St. Mungo. Uh, so this is a place that's quiet, peaceful now, a place where many people come to, to see the beautiful buildings. But I've come here today because of the remembrance of those two saints, men who went out from here, who brought the good news of Jesus across this part of the world. And particularly Mungo, when he was ready to leave the abbey, going across the Forth and going west, uh, and eventually founding the uh, abbey uh, at, uh, um, beside the burn at, uh, at Glasgow, which still bears his name, and where he's actually buried in the crypt of Glasgow Cathedral. Maybe we'll do that on another day. But I just want to give thanks at this point for the lives of these two great men who are remembered here, and though we don't have all their dates and histories perfect, yet we do know that they were servants of Christ who brought the good news of Jesus to this area. So thank you, Father, for the lives of St. Serf and of St. Mungo. Thank you that they gave their lives to service here, they gave their lives to you, and also that they gave their lives to spreading your word across this part of the world. May we be like them, may we follow you, may we take the good news of Jesus wherever we live, wherever we go. In Jesus' name, Amen.